Anybody need a copy of the agenda? I got three of them. So. Yeah. No, she won't care. <laughs> She, I talked to her today. She, she went to find home on, I guess, uh, third, like, late Thursday night. So I think she's going to go higher. Good. So I'm far, on. so good. So, all right. You guys ready? She's ready. All right. Would you call the roll, please? Yeah. 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 Would you please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, and under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Item number two is the consent docket. Item A is received and approved the minutes of the regular city council meeting held August 5th, 2019. Make sure this is, sorry. Item B is received the minutes of the regular parks board meeting held June 4th, 2019. Item C is renew existing intergovernmental agreement for regional household hazardous waste collection and management with the city of Oklahoma City. Item D is accept public water and sewer improvements to serve the Riverwalk Commercial Park Edition, Section 14, located in the northwest quarter of Section 26, Township 10 North, Range 3 West, being south of Southwest 25th Street and east of Telephone Road. Application by Western Farmers Electric. Oh, motion to approve. Wait, wait. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, the the paper stuff. I couldn't get it. Okay. Uh, Item number E is approve an amendment to on-demand construction contract with Silver Star Construction. Item F is approve an amendment to the on-demand construction contract with Rudy Construction. Item G is approve an amendment to the on-demand construction contract with Cimarron Construction. Item H is approve membership renewal with the Oklahoma Municipal Management Association services in the amount of $5,000. Item I is approve and ratify claims and expenditures for FY 2008-2019 in the amount of $1,135,721.57 and approve and ratify claims and expenditures for FY 2019-2020 in the amount of $3,933,749.30. Okay. Question to approve. Thanks. Just a, one quick question. What's, what's the uh, Oklahoma Municipal Manager? What is that? Mayor and Council, this is an association that was formed uh, about a year and a half ago of, of former city managers that, uh, can, one, provide services to other cities, uh, including data that, that they're gathering for workers' comp things and, and uh, insurance items and, and other things like that that are it's a useful resource for the city. Okay. Okay, do we have a second? Second. All right, thank you. Would you call for the vote, please? Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Louis Williams? Yes. Adam Webb? Yes. Mark Camp? Yes. Lynn Lewis? Yes. Item carries. Item number three is consider approval of an FY 1920 budget supplement to budget additional expenses from technology fees. Mayor and Council, uh, the fiscal year 20 general fund budget was approved to spend technology fee revenue for ticket riders for the, de the police department, animal control, and code enforcement. IT updated the quotes used for the budget and found that the cost to purchase these had gone up. Fiscal year 20 budget estimated spending 33,600 and the update quotes came in at 40,859 due to some changes in configuration, programming, and price increases. The technology fee cash account has adequate funds to cover the 7,259 increase requested. The only other expenses budgeted in fiscal year 20 to spend from the technology fees are 16 computers for court in the amount of 28,800. Uh, I'd be glad to answer any questions you might have. Motion to approve. Thank you. Second. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. Any other discussion on this item? If not, would you call for the vote, please? Melissa Hunt? Yes. Louis Williams? Yes. 
Adam Webb? Yes. Mark Camp? Yes. Jason Blair? Yes. Glenn Lewis? Yes, item carries. Item number four is consider approval of engineering design fees in the amount of $61,300 with Water Edge Aquatic Design LLC for design of the Aquatic Center expansion of the Center Parks and Recreation. Mayor and Council, this item is the engineering phase for the aquatic expansion. The total cost was discussed in the budget sessions and approved. Once the plans are complete, we will come back to the Council for the approval of the remainder of the project. I'll be happy to answer any questions. Where's this one at? Uh, at the station aquatic. Okay. Let's make a motion to approve. All right, thank you. Second. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. Any other discussion on this item? Do they know when they'll have this done? Uh, once we give them the okay, it'll approximately take about seven months. Okay. All right. With that said, would you call for the vote, please? Louis Williams? Yes. Adam Webb? Yes. Mark Hamm? Yes. Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Glenn Lewis? Yes. Item carries. Item number five is consider the nomination appointment of three members of the City Council to interview applicants for the vacant planning commission seat. Who wants to volunteer for this one? I'll do, do be, I'll serve for a moment. Okay. Who else? I, I would like to nominate Mark, Louie, and Danielle, unless anybody else would like to throw their hats in. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Okay. I'll second. We have a motion and a second. Would you call for the vote, please, before they back out? <laughs> Adam Webb? Yes. Mark Ham? Yes. Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. William Williams? Yes. Glenn Lewis? Yes. Item carries. Item number six is consider an amendment to the Community Development Block Grant, the CDBG Policies and Procedures Manual. This is from Capital Planning and Resiliency from Hyada. Mayor and Council of the 2015 International Property Maintenance Code with local amendments establishing minimum regulations governing the property maintenance requirements of multifamily dwelling structures was adopted last council meeting August 5th, 2019. This ordinance has been incorporated as a policy in the multifamily maintenance and operations appendix to the CDBG policy and procedures specifically for the curve. It is found on pages 247 through 249 of the manual. City staff will be monitoring the compliance of the, these property maintenance requirements on an annual basis. Checklists will be used for each monitoring. Some of these checklist items include sidewalks, parking lots, overhangs, handrails, windows, defacement of property, siding and masonry joints maintained um, for weather resistance, no evidence of structural roofing or flooring deterioration. Other changes made to the manual include HUD's recommendation to have all the CDBG DR policies and procedures in its own appendix instead of incorporated throughout the main CDBG policy and procedure. Do you have any questions if you have Motion to approve. All right, thank you. Second. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. Any other discussion on this item? If not, would you call for the vote, please? Louis Williams? Yes. Adam Webb? Yes. Mark Ham? Yes. Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Glenn Lewis? Yes, item carries. Item number seven is consider awarding bid number 1900-20 Little River Park drainage improvements fencing to Marshall Fence in the amount of $205,972 as the lowest and most responsible bidder and approve the contract for the same. Mayor and Council, um, there will be trails constructed on both the west and east sides of the channel, so it was determined that a fence should be installed along the channel wall of the newly improved Little River, Little River Channel. The length of the fence is about a half a mile on each side. On June 26th, a bid notice was published for the Little River Drainage Improvements Fencing. Eight bid responses were received on July 29th. Marshall Fence submitted the lowest, most responsible bid in the amount of $205,972. This fence will be a four foot tall, uh, will be four foot tall and look very similar to the one at Central Park separating the parking lot from the railroad. Um, and this fence will be funded with CDBGDR funds. Um, staff recommends awarding bid number 1900-20 to Marshall Fence. Where's this app exactly I've been trying to? Um, along Little River, on um, Little Is River Park on the of south 4th end. Street? Yeah, Little south of 4th Street, Street, kind of in front of where the redevelopment is going. Um, so we're just all along that chain. Fence on, on both sides. Yeah. The trail backs 
will literally come adjacent to that wall that they've put in that, mm -hmm. that alignment. Okay. Right. Make a motion to approve. Right. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you, folks. We have a motion and a second. Any other discussion on this item? If not, would you call for the vote, please? Mark Ham? Yes. Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Louie Williams? Yes. Adam Webb? Yes. Lynn Lewis? Yes. Item carries. Item number eight is consider authorizing the budgeted purchase of 10 replacement handheld electronic ticket riders for the police department and new electronic ticket riders for animal control and code enforcement from Tyler Technologies as a sole source provider in the amount of $40,859. Mayor and Council, this is for uh, replacement handheld ticket riders to replace the ticket riders that are uh, right about nine years old right now in the police department. And also, uh, in conjunction with this, is to purchase uh, new um, new software for the uh, animal control and the um, uh, uh, code enforcement to be able to use the same software. It'll download automatically into courts instead of them having to hand write tickets. Okay. Hmm. Make a motion to approve. Thank you. Second. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. Any other discussion on this item? If not, would you call for the vote, please? Jason Blair. Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Louis Williams? Yes. Adam Webb? Yes. Mark Ham? Yes. Glenn Lewis? Yes. Item carries. Item number nine is consider, budget, or consider authorizing the budgeted purchase of a backup appliance from Presido Networked Solutions in the amount of two, or excuse me, $24,110.07. Mayor Council, this is to upgrade our current backup appliance. Uh, basically double our space. We're out of space in our backup. Um, so we need to upgrade or get, you know, get something this, new. Is this unit housed on premise? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, Have we looked into off-site? It does replicate into an off-site, yes. Okay. They're they expensive. Are. They are. Yeah, most super. Thank you. Second. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. Any other uh, comments or questions? If not, would you go for the vote, please? Melissa Hunt? Yes. Louis Williams? Yes. Adam Webb? Yes. Mark Ham? Yes. Jason Blair? Yes. Glenn Lewis? Yes. Item carries. Item number 10 is consider authorizing staff to negotiate an agreement with Guernsey Engineering Architects and Consultants for engineering design fees and scope of service on the Southwest 34th Street widening and reconstruction project from I-35 to Broadway Avenue. Mayor and Council, <clears throat> the uh, I-35, or the widening of uh, Southwest 34th Street from I-35 to Broadway is necessary. Uh, as you know, we're getting ready to uh, open the overpass uh, over I-35 on the, at the 34th Street uh, overpass up I-35 uh, sometime in early to mid-October uh, as it stands right now. And as a result of that, uh, you know, we're going to be, you're going to see increase in traffic along 34th Street uh, between I-35 and, and Broadway, somewhere in the neighborhood of what used to be about 900 cars a day to somewhere between 9,000 to 10,000 cars a day. And uh -huh. so um, what we wanted to do is we wanted to get started early uh, as soon as we could with this particular project to widen that section of uh, 34th Street from I-35 to uh, Broadway. So we sent out proposals on it uh, and then received uh, 19 proposals from uh, the consulting engineers uh, on May 17th. Uh, Richard, Elizabeth, and myself evaluated those and uh, I sent out the scoring uh, to each of you on how they ranked. Uh, Guernsey, uh, engineers and architects uh, scored the highest and we would recommend that we go ahead and 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 receive authorization to negotiate an agreement with uh, uh, Guernsey to do the design for that widening. I will note that our, our funding for this project uh, it, we, we have uh, approximately 300,000 in our contingency fund uh, for fiscal year 1920. Um, it's certainly not going to be enough to fund the entire project, but it certainly would allow us to move forward with getting some information where we can submit, uh, gather information and submit to ACOG to try to get some construction funding as we move forward. And it also would allow us to move forward with the study and report phase and, and possibly the surveying um, portion of that project, which would take anywhere from 
you know, 110 to 120 days for that purposes. And so we'd be in a better position than, than to move forward and gather that information and try to get some funding from ACOT. Uh, so we'd uh, like to begin negotiation on this project now. When you talk widening, are you like putting a turn lane in the middle or are we looking at doing four lanes or? Well, I, I don't think that uh, decision has been finalized yet. There will be areas where certainly it needs to be five lanes because of the intersection of Broadway and the intersection of Eastern. So a good portion of that area will have to be five lanes because of the, mm -hmm. the turn lanes. Um, there's only two access points between Broadway, two uh, additions on each, two or three on each side, one, two on each side uh, on, on that section from uh, Broadway to I-35, and so we could possibly get by with four there, uh, but it won't be determined until we get to the final design stage. Okay. Are you looking at improving the intersections with stoplights? or? Yes, certainly we'll be looking at doing traffic signals at both of those locations, uh, Eastern and uh, Good. Broadway. Good, very, very much needed. Yes. Glad to see, see this. Kevin, any ballpark idea as to what the design phase here will run? Uh, I, I would guess that the design phase would be somewhere in the overall for all of it would be uh, uh, somewhere in the 300 to 350,000 range. Okay. Uh, but for the cons uh, study and report phase uh, uh, and perhaps the surveying would be maybe a third of that, okay. somewhere in that neighborhood. Motion to approve. Thank you. Do we have a motion? Do we second. Have a second? Okay, thank you. We have a motion and a second. Any other discussion on this item? This is going to be nice when it's finished. Would you call for the vote, please? Louis Williams? Yes. Adam Webb? Yes. Mark Han? Yes. Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Glenn Lewis? Yes, item carries. Item number 11 is consider approval of an agreement in the amount of $360,040 with Freeze and Nichols Incorporated for Professional Engineering Services for the design of Northeast 12th Street from I-35 to Eastern Avenue and authorize the mayor and city clerk to execute the agreement. Mayor and council, back at the July 1st uh, city council meeting, you authorized staff to go ahead and begin negotiations with Freeze and Nichols uh, for the scope of services and the associated fees that would go along with those scope of services uh, for the design of Northeast 12th Street from I-35 to Eastern Avenue. Uh, we've completed those negotiations. Uh, uh, the overall uh, budget for the project was is about uh, $3.93 million for the project. Uh, we would estimate that the engineering would be somewhere between 8 to 10 percent for something of that, that nature. Uh, uh, and this falls within that range. The, the fixed general services fees is $285,120. And then the special services like geotechnical and, and uh, surveying and construction management, if we choose to utilize it, uh, are, in another, are another approximately 75000 So it's within what we would expect for a project of this nature. And we would recommend the funding source is the 2019 geo bond. Uh, and we, we would ask that you go ahead and authorize uh, uh, moving forward by approving the contract. Is this going to end up being a full replacement the whole way, or is there going to be pieces and parts? I think it's going to be just like Eastern Avenue. I think we're looking at pieces and parts, um, just because some of it is in decent, decent shape, shape. Yeah. And, and, so, and some of it is not. Some will be full reconstruction, and some will be rehabilitation. And we'll be putting sidewalks in there? Uh, we'll be looking at a 10-foot a, a wide uh, combination trail sidewalk. On one side. On one side, yes. Motion to approve. All right, thank you. Second. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. Any other discussion on this item? If not, would you call for the vote, please? Adam Webb? Yes. Mark Ham? Yes. Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Louis Williams? Yes. Glenn Lewis? Yes. <coughs> item carries. At this time, we'll recess the. Oh, we have an addendum, excuse me. Okay. The addendum is item 11.1, .1, consider approval of a utility real relocation agreement with the Oklahoma Gas Gathering LLC for the lowering of an eight inch pipeline encountered on the Southwest 34th Street widening project uh, from Telephone Road to Santa Fe Avenue. It is, 
in the estimated amount of $19,354 as the city's 50% share of the cost. Mayor and Council, uh, during the construction process of the widening of Southwest 31st from Telephone to Santa Fe, um, we encountered an 8-inch gas line that is owned and operated by the Oklahoma Gas Gathering Company. And uh, well, we, the conflict is between the 8-inch gas line and our 24-inch uh, uh, storm sewer. Uh, we looked at everything we could to try to relocate our storm sewer as far as adjusting it up or down, and we just couldn't do that and make it work. Um, and so uh, what we did is uh, requested uh, uh, the Oklahoma Gas Gathering Company lower their gas line and, and allow us to be able to go through with our project. Um, our, as, as the mayor said, our share is uh, $19,354. Who's paying the overshare? Uh, Oklahoma Gas Gathering Company. Okay. And we just didn't didn't know this line was there until we came across it? Now, um, you know, as I understand it, as the design process was going forward, um, uh, the gas line was owned by DCP at that time. And uh, when, when the design consultant was uh, coordinating with all of the utilities, they could not get a, a response. Uh, and at that time, DC, about the time we, we were getting ready to move forward, um, DCP sold the gas line to Oklahoma Gas Gathering. And uh, uh, this uh, coordination that, that we would have hoped would take place then. Um, and uh, also the thought was that it would, we would probably be pretty good because it is an eight inch line in the depth of uh, where it would, should be in relationship to where our depth of our flow line for the, for the storm sewer would be. And uh, it, it, it just meant the bottom of the pipe. Uh, the bottom of our pipe is uh, in the top of their gas line. Uh, the, my understanding of the way the statute reads, they have their right of way. I mean, they have the, the, the right of way for their eight inch gas line that they purchased. And, and the way it was explained to me is that the, the, the uh, city would be responsible for all all costs that are outside the uh, statutory right-of-way. Um, uh, of course, being a large 8-inch gas line, what they were hoping to do and were wanting to do was to go ahead and bore the entire street section, which would have would have been, they, they originally were looking at a boring cost of about $200,000. And uh, we were able to convince them that, uh, you know, for such a small section that we're looking at and where the area that we're in, uh, they agreed that they would go ahead and put in uh, four 45s and just go ahead and 45 underneath the, the pipeline, which was allowed us to be able to reduce our cost down to about 19,000. Okay. Make a motion to approve. Second. All right. Thank you both. We have a motion and a second. Any other discussion on this item? If not, would you call for the vote, please? Mark Ham? Yes. Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Louis Williams? Yes. Adam Webb? Yes. Glenn Lewis? Yes. Item carries. At this time, we will recess the City Council meeting and convene the More Public Works Authority meeting. Item number 12 is the consent docket. Item A is receive and approve the minutes of the regular More Public Works Authority meeting held August 5th, 2019. Item B is approve and ratify claims and expenditures for FY 2018 to 2019 in the amount of $123,009.78 and approve and ratify claims and expenditures for FY 2019 and 2020 in the amount of $455,087.80. Move to approve. Second. All right. Thank you both. We have a motion and a second. And it is a consent docket. Would you call for the vote, please? Melissa Hunt? Yes. Louie Williams? Yes. Adam Webb? Yes. Yes. Jason Blair? Yes. Lewis. Yes. Item carries. At this time, we recess the More Public Works Authority meeting and convene the More Risk Management meeting. Item number 13 is the consent docket. Item A is receive and approve the minutes of the regular More Risk Management meeting held August 5th, 2019. Item B is approve and ratify claims and expenditures for FY 2018-2019 in the amount of $282,753.84.
Motion to approve. Second. All right. Thank you. Thank you both. We have a motion and a second. It is a consent docket. Would you please call for the vote? Yes. Louis Williams? Yes. Adam Webb? Yes. Mark Kim? Yes. Jason Blair? Yes. Glenn Lewis? Yes. Adam Harris. At this time, we'll recess the more risk management meeting and convene the more economic development authority meeting. Item 14 is roll call. Would you call the roll, please? Danielle McKenzie? Jason Blair? Here. Melissa Hunt? Here. Glenn Lewis? Here. Adam Webb? Here. Mark Ham? Here. Louis Williams? Here. <clears throat> Item 15 is consent docket. Subletter A is receive and approve the minutes of the Moore Economic Development Authority meeting held July 15th, 2019. Make a motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. This is a consent docket. Would you call for the vote, please? Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Glenn Lewis? Yes. Adam Webb? Yes. Mark Cam? Yes. Louis Williams? <clears throat> yes. Uh, we'll, at this time, we'll recess the more economic development authority meeting and reconvene the city council meeting. All right, thank you. Item number 16 is new business. Let the record reflect that all the members that were present before are still present. Item A is citizens forum for items not on the agenda. There's no one signed up to speak. Would anyone like to? Come on up. Give me just a moment. Um, I have prepared a handout for each member. And mine's a pretty minor complaint in the grand scheme of things. It's about a $20 service fee at the police department to do a background check. I certainly don't mind paying taxes, and I certainly don't mind paying user fees when those fees are appropriate. I believe the one time this fee may have been appropriate, but I had to get this background check at both the city of Moore and with Cleveland County Sheriff's Office. The Sheriff's Office was kind enough to do this background for me and not charge me anything. Whereas the city of Moore, to take two minutes and look at a computer and two stickers and sign it, charge me 20 bucks. I'm sorry, can you state your name for the record? Yes, I can, and I do apologize. My name is Rodney Floyd. I live on the northwest side over by 27th and Amber and Ward 3. Brooks, do we know what the surrounding cities, do you have that information or counties? Yeah, um, Oklahoma City and Norman, one is free and one is $3, and the $20 fee. Uh, this one was put into place in July of 2015, so it's been on the books for a while. Also, Oklahoma County, I called them and checked with warrants at Oklahoma County, and uh, Oklahoma County is $3. So $3. Cleveland County is free, Oklahoma County is $3, I guess Oklahoma City is $3, and Norman is free. Do we know, Brooks, if we would need to charge a $3 fee for any reason, or if we could just follow their suit and do it for free as well? Uh, that's something I uh, discuss with staff and just see if there are costs to be recovered and then come back to council with recommendation. Because there is, there is a, I mean, even though it's maybe not $20 worth, there is a cost of the person sitting, I mean, sitting behind the desk. She has a salary and she, she sits in a chair and she, I mean, there are costs associated with that. Sure. Maybe it's not $20, but there is a small cost associated I, I, I with I firmly that. believe that if you're going to bring a complaint, you should also bring a solution along with that complaint. And what I would recommend is on this fee, it says actual cost and a minimum cost of $20. Instead, why couldn't we do like a minimum cost of like 15 minutes? Like a lot of attorneys that will bill, they'll have like a 15 minute minimum for a phone call or for, so instead of $20, we could look at kind of the average salary and do a 15 minute of that person's salary. I mean, mm -hmm. she's going to sit there whether I come in for a background check or not. Right. But her time is valuable to the, to the taxpayers of the city of Moore, and, and the city of Moore should be able to recoup some of that cost. But just, I, I feel $20 is, is kind of ridiculous for right. what the service I receive right. on that. Where a five or a $10 fee or a 15 minute fee on that same service would be more than appropriate. Sure. 
I appreciate bringing it to our attention. You know, it seems like it's exorbitant compared to everybody else around us. If you can give us a proposal, Brooks, sure, that makes absolutely. sense for more for the next council meeting, I'd appreciate it. So. And I would just agree. I know when I went and got my uh, armed, my armed security permit, uh, it would, the uh, clerk I don't know, took a couple of minutes and she stamped it and said that's twenty dollars and I said for what? <laughs> <laughs> so I had to look it up. Okay, so I understand why we have those fees to help supplement, uh, but they do need to be in line and, and fair for the job that's being well, asked for the person. Like you do. mentioned, that at the time that it went in place, maybe it was a more manual process right. than it is now. So uh, I, I think no we idea. can review it adjust it if it's appropriate then I think we've satisfied you anyway, right? Thank no, you. he paid his twenty bucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So did I. And, and, and spent four hours fuming yeah. about it. So <laughs> and put together one thing. Thank you. Thanks for thank, thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you. I appreciate your time and thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Anybody else? Okay, item B is items from the City Council of Trustees. Just a couple of quick things that I would have. I had just a call, and these, these are out of my ward, so Jason and, and Danielle, but it's the Bear Westmore splash, splash Pad. We've been working on that a while. Yeah, um, we're laying a sod on it tomorrow, and we hope to have it open here in the next, hopefully about a week. Okay. They also indicated that I guess a um, a station that distributes plastic bags to clean up after your pets had been taken down. So I don't know. I hadn't gone to look, but the, just be sure and put that back up. If, all right. It, this same person had a, a concern about the creek that runs from uh, north. West 12th Street to Northwest 5th Street, and are we going to mow that anytime soon? If you could just look into that, Brooks. We'll look into that. See what's yeah. going on there. And those are the two things that I have. Okay, thank you. Anybody else? The more War Run is on Saturday morning. There's still time to sign up. Um, I'm signed up, so you won't be last. So um, feel free to join us. That's this Saturday? This Saturday, 7.30 a.m. Okay. There? We'll beat the heat. <laughs> yeah, I'll take you my can have Brooks, <laughs> that Brooks run for you. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Mark, will, Mark will run in your name. Okay. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Let's see. Items from the city trust or city manager or the trust manager? Mayor and Council, uh, the national night out was very well attended here recently. Uh, between 1,200 and 1,500 people there. Uh, very very nice weather the, the clouds rolled in and so that kind of that cut down the heat a lot but uh, everyone seemed to enjoy themselves and had a good time so appreciate everyone that was involved with it and I like the uh, the new location there in front of the Warren theater oh yeah a lot of room nice. and nice it's great I agree with you okay item 17 is executive session Section 307, Title 25, Oklahoma Statutes permits the public body to meet in executive session for certain specified reasons under certain specified conditions. It is the opinion of the city attorney that the city council may consider and adopt a motion to meet in executive session to discuss the following items. Item A, discuss a proceeding claim or litigation in the public interest as authorized by 25 Oklahoma Statutes 307B-4. Make a motion we convene to executive session. So, all right, thank you. Thank you. Would you call for the vote, please? Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Louis Williams? Yes. Adam Webb? Yes. Mark Ham? Yes. Lynn Lewis? Yes. We're convened to executive session. Thank you for coming.
pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Testing. <laughs> Testing. We're waiting for you. That's okay, though. <laughs> Would you call the roll back to reconvene from executive session, please? Jason Blair? Here. Melissa Hunt? Here. Amy Williams? Here. Adam Webb? Here. Mark Ham? Here. Lynn Lewis? Here. On the next item is an action item on item D. Do we have a motion? Motion to proceed as directed. All right. Second. We have a motion and a second. Would you call for the vote, please? Melissa Hunt? Yes. Yes. Adam Webb? Yes. Mark Ham? Yes. Jason Webb? Yes. Lynn Lewis? Yes. Item carries. Item number 18 is adjournment. I would make a motion that we adjourn. Okay. Thanks. Sorry. Thanks. I appreciate it. Would you come over the vote, please? Louis Williams? Yes. Adam Webb? Yes. Mark Ham? Yes. Jason Webb? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Lynn Lewis? Yes, we are adjourned. Thank hey, everybody, you for this thing that he handed out, yeah, this is so secure. Oh, yeah, I know. I so know. be sure to yeah. dispose of it yeah. properly. Yeah.